Hi, I'm Dr. Padma Priya. I'm an obstetrician, gynecologist and laparoscopic surgeon at Cloud9 Hospital, High Tech City, Hyderabad. Fetal distress is when your doctor diagnoses that there is decreased oxygen supply to your baby. In medical terms, it is called non-reassuring fetal heart rate pattern. So, which is of really a concern and the doctor wants to deliver the baby as soon as possible. So, what happens in fetal distress? There is decreased heart rate below 110. And also, the baby's first poop, a greenish-brown meconium is secreted from the baby, which is seen if the water bag breaks naturally or if the doctor has broken it. So what are the risk factors for fetal distress? Whenever there is fetal growth restriction, when there is high maternal blood pressure, when there is uncontrolled diabetes and if there is labor complication like cord prolapse, cord compression, hyperstimulation. So these are all the risk factors for fetal distress. Can we prevent it? Yeah, to a certain extent, we can reduce the risk factors. Our diabetes has to be under control, our blood pressure has to be controlled, regular antenatal checkups are necessary, and if there is a fetal growth restriction, then we have to monitor it frequently and see when it has to be induced or delivered. Before that, there are few correctable factors. So, we can hydrate the patient, start on IV fluids, make the patient turn to left lateral position, give some oxygen, find out the cause, like if there is used tocolite to reduce the contractility of the uterus. If the patient is in second stage, we can put an instrument and deliver the baby, either forceps or vacuum. If the patient is still removed from the second stage, we can go ahead with a C-section.